Hello YouTube. My voice is about gone with humidity. We did take a picture of the tin we spliced up there. We had to use a little bit of foil tape. There was like a sixteenth of an inch crack where I wish I would have cut the tin just a little bit longer. But we'll try to get a close-up shot. You can see the rivets. Uh, when this cures, I think I might put a second coat and see if that'll help hide him. But you notice there's that stops where the fender starts. You know what I mean? There's the fender. Well, think about painting that black and extending that. And painting that black right there and using the same stuff. Sand it, put a line of masking tape, just so it goes with the body. So there you go. A real short part two. We'll open the door and show you how far we sprayed into the seal. We went right up to the edge. Put our masking tape in. We got some on the car here and there. We just wiped off with mineral spirits before it dried. <clears throat> Heck, might as well show you the back. The car needs to clean down. I don't want to show the grungy thing. It is in good shape. It just needs clean out. The front seat's got a few rips in it, but there you go. You masked around that rubber thing. Don't know why the rubber gasket. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they make these cars, huh? Where the door door ends, or that's it. There's the wheel well. There you go. There's an opening back in there. I sprayed a whole bunch in there. I shouldn't have wasted that much. Uh, same as in the front. The whole thing is to keep that stuff from splashing up on there. So, thanks for watching. We'll take a couple photos.